Hello my friends and welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Before we get started, I'll remind you that all the products are linked in the description box. Click on show more or the arrow and you'll see the list. In this video, I am going to show you how I created this painting. For the background, I used acrylic paint simply because it's just easier. So in these little bottles, I have alcohol and ink mixed together and it's just ink when I have just a few drops in a bottle or a bottle is empty. I swish a little alcohol in it and then I dump the color into one of these little bottles so that I can use for techniques such as this. So to create these, these, uh, this pattern or this design, you're going to need a lot of alcohol and a lot of patience. So you can see I've put down some of that mixture of alcohol and ink on my paper and I added a little silver metallic paint to it and I have my Revlon blow dryer and it is set on low. And as you can see I'm tilting my paper so the puddle of ink flows towards the area that I am drying. And I keep moving the paper around so that the direction of the, the ripples that form change and it gives it more interest. Now be careful when you're using the metallics because they can overtake the, um, they can really get away from you. So use very little. So you could see here I've changed the direction of my paper and I'm tilting the paper so that the um, puddle of ink and alcohol flows towards the area that I'm blowing and you can see the lines starting to form. And again I had to speed this up to make this painting and then even after the video I did a little bit more work on it but the video alone took like 50 minutes. And make sure that you're working in a very well ventilated area um, because you will be using a lot of alcohol and that you take whatever precautions you need to be safe. So you can see here I'm pulling the blow dryer away and then coming towards that puddle of ink until it's all dry. Now I'm adding some red and it's just a mix of all different reds. It's not one particular color and I've added a little bit of silver again And you can see how I'm just going around and turning the paper so that those the lines um, change direction as well. And don't be afraid to add more alcohol to your puddle because it will dry out and you'll have more pigment than alcohol and that makes it difficult to move it. So just keep adding alcohol as you need to. And now here is where I'm going to attempt to create one of those roses or those shapes that look like roses. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm adding more alcohol. And then I'm going from left to right or top to bottom and just keep blowing the ink up and down in two different, you know, in two directions from left to right or up and down. Add alcohol as you need to. And now you could see I'm going, I'm moving the ink down and moving it up and then going left to right. And if you continue doing this, you can change the direction of the ripples and you can create one of those roses. So just work in two directions, up and down or left to right, and then switch it up. You can even go diagonally. And if you have too much ink when you get to the center, if you have too much ink collected in there, just take a piece of paper towel and pick some of that ink up, add a little bit more alcohol, and then continue the process. Now I'll be honest with you, this does take a lot of practice. Um, it can get away from you if you don't take your time or if you're rushing. Um, just Practice it on smaller sheets of paper. Just practice doing the one rows or just uh, practice doing the ripples. And then once you think you have the hang of it, then try it on a larger sheet of paper. Because to be honest with you, it still gets away from me. And I've been doing this for a long time now. So you can see here I've added some blue with a little bit of silver. 
and just going back and forth, back and forth, adding more ink, more alcohol, tilting my paper. Now you can see I'm about to attempt to create one of those roses again. So I'm going, moving the ink up and down and then changing direction. and making sure that it is completely dry all the way to the very center. And some of my mixes of alcohol and ink are more diluted than others. So uh, there's no measurements. I just pour it in there, whatever I have and I, I add alcohol as I need it for whatever project I'm working on. But it's a nice way to save some of your ink or save some money and not be wasteful. Just throwing the ink in another bottle with some alcohol. I use these all the time. And be careful when tilting the paper that you don't tilt it too much because like I said, it can the puddle of ink can get away from you. And the best advice that I can give you is when you're adding ink or alcohol, don't turn your dryer off. <laughs> because in the time that it takes you to turn it on with one hand, you can lose the ink, the puddle can go rogue on you. So I found that if I leave the blow dryer running, it's much easier. So even though this does take a long time, you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You can do a little bit every now and then because, because it does, the process is very tedious. The effect is beautiful and worth the effort, but it's very tedious. And I did try to use my embossing gun, but because it takes so long, um, my paper started warping and it was just, it was too much heat. I recommend that you use the blow dryer. My embossing gun doesn't have um, settings. It's just hot and that's it, on and off. So it was uh, too, too much heat on the paper. And it even started to warp the mat, the leopard print mat that you see on, that I'm working on. It even started warping that. And another piece of advice, move everything out of the way because you'll find that you start tilting your paper and anything that is in its way will get knocked over. You can see I have puddles of ink on my mat from uh, bottles that I spilled while spinning the paper. And you can see if your corners, when you put the ink down, 
and you're blowing just at the bottom, the ink will have a tendency to go towards the ends and it can start to get away from you. So what you should do is go in a curve instead of a straight line with the dryer so that it pulls those corners back in. So anytime you see the ink puddle getting away from you, just blow it back in. You can see here I'm creating one of those roses. So I'm going left to right, up and down, and going diagonally as well. Picking up some of the ink and adding more alcohol and then going right back to it, left to right, up and down. So continue with this process until you've filled as much of your paper as you'd like to. I like to leave some white areas and then paint in the background using the acrylic paint. Um, you can use any acrylic paint that you have on hand. You may require it may require depending on what you use more than one coat. Well I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you give this a try. Please let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!